Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can use Jira Bitbucket for source code and Azure DevOps pipelines for your deployments to see all this data from Bitbucket and Azure DevOps in Jira. So let's begin, let's create a test issue and bucket plus IDO, call it like this, very simple. Now we need the issue key, it's IDO 15, let's start work on this, so we'll go to, bit, to the Bitbucket, find our test repo, do a big change. So, and of course, first I will show you how it works, the end result, and then I will explain as well how you can configure all those things. So now we can do our big change, do a commit. So we need to ensure that we have ADO 15 in our commit messages. And of course, let's have a pull request, ADO 15 as well. Let's do a commit. And of course, we, may, we basically need to refresh Jira to see any data which was received by Jira, it's not always auto-refreshed. So in this case, as we see, we have a test deployment and soon we should, should see a pull request as well. So here we have a pull request, we'll approve it, and of course we'll merge it. see here's our pull request which we have created it says ADO 15 merged we have our build is done and deployment is done as well as they came from ADO so if you click on on this build it will open a road whoops my test by plan as you see here's all our runs and the one was just now the same with builds it's all the ADO and it's all the build by plan so it's pretty simple. So now I will explain you how all these two things are set up. So first, to receive builds and deployments information, you would need to use Azure DevOps for Jira app from Atlassian Marketplace, which is available from Mover Forward. It's an expensive app, which permits you to receive data from either GitHub, Azure DevOps, or Bitbucket source source code, but pipelines are run on Azure DevOps. So if you use Azure DevOps for everything, you will see branches, commits, pull requests, builds and deployments. If not, you basically also can use hosting in GitHub or Bitbucket, but running pipelines on Azure DevOps. You will see all of them here. So if I, for example, click, if I want to see all my deployments, you also will see all the deployments inside deployment panel in Jira. As you see, it's here. So for this, you need this application. Another point to see commits and pull requests, you would need to use DSVC connector. So this one is used, as we see, for Azure DevOps which is called Azure DevOps for Jira. So to integrate Bitbucket for pull requests and source code, you will need to go to the project settings. Here you will find the tool chain. Azure DevOps for Jira available by browse apps. It will go to the marketplace and show you all apps. Uh, and Bitbucket, you see, you can integrate like this. You will basically go to your tools, add repository. Here you have my Bitbucket repositories, but theoretically and practically you can say, I want a new one, I want to add a new tool a bit big bucket cloud or you can install any other tool and then hey, it will permit you to um, connect things together so it's it's pretty straightforward you connect your bit bucket you connect your road devops and this way you get from it bucket commits pull requests and from road devops you get builds and deployments if you have any questions about Azure DevOps integration with Jira, please let us know. Thank you very much.